Hey, what's up everybody, man? It's your boy Jason Yamamoto. And today I want to talk to you guys about how to do your squats. Okay? Anyway, so what I want to discuss with you guys is that 99.9% .9 of you guys are not any kind of athlete. You got probably zero to none athletic abilities. You probably never participated in a real sports activities that involved real team planning and team training. You might have played a game of football with your friends. Uh, you might have played a game of basketball with your friends. Maybe a game of baseball, you know. But to actually train like an athlete, diet like an athlete, just anything as an athlete, you've probably done nothing in, in that perspective. And I get it. Now, to discuss about how an average guy like you should train in squats, you should be training in your squats in one to three reps in perfect form because, here's the thing, the average Joe doesn't even know how his body works, doesn't even know the mechanics of how his body works. You might have gotten a uh, knee injury two, three years ago, and you may not even known about it. And so when you perform your squats, you have an in, a straight up imbalance in your balance when you're performing the squat. You're not even probably even going all the way down as to the grass squat. Um, when you're squatting, you might even lean forward too much. You see what I'm saying? A lot of people don't understand their mechanics of their bodies, and yet they're listening to all these YouTubers over here discussing about how much you should squats, how your form should look like, this, this, this. Which is fine, you can, you can get these tricks and tips. But when you're training an average person who has zero to no athletic abilities, you must stick within one to three reps in perfect form. Now, as you progress in the years, you know, three, four, five, six, seven years, and you actually want to make this, um, this lifestyle yours, right? Then you can start moving up in reps and you're moving up in sets. You can do whatever you feel like you need to do to achieve your goals. But when you're training like the very first few guys, you know, barely one year experience, these guys going balls to the walls and plates and gaining strength gains, which in fact ultimately cause more injury, more bad than good. If you probably heard of that uh, model before, right? Now, so you're getting this average person you want to train this person in you got to remember the imbalances of a person's body their heels their foot everybody's foot is different some people are straight some people are narrow some people are wide some people got flat feet some people got all different kinds of different feet patterns and certain exercises are not good for certain people you know what i'm saying People with flat feet, do you recommend a person with flat uh, flat feet um, to squat? I'm, I'm a, it's a serious question here. You know, um, do would you recommend a person with a previous knee injury to squat? How many, how much weight should you progressively add towards their squat rate uh, weight? You know what I'm saying? Uh, there's a lot of things that you guys need to understand when you're training an average person in squat. So that's why it's very important to start the squat off with one to three reps. And um, I'm, a, I'm a big believer in 10 sets. 10 sets to 15 sets to, to make you stronger. I'm gonna probably release a video about 10 sets or more to make you stronger. But if you're looking at to become a stronger version of yourself, look at perfect form squats here somewhere on YouTube somebody probably already uploaded a video on that look at that video then understand that you need to perform about 10 sets uh, keep your uh, your reps roughly about one to three I would recommend just one rep that's it it's one down one up put it away because it resets your form every time you're doing it it resets your form once you go past beyond that one rep now each time you perform that rep, your rep is being destroyed uh, due to postural imbalances and it, like I said, it can cause more harm than good. Also the squat, depending on your imbalances, uh, there could be postural damages to your spine. 
your, your spinal alignment, right? Mind you, if there's if there's like a, a, a weird tweak or, or an awkward movement when you're going down doing your squat, you could damage your spine. All right. The Hosh twins, they made a video about Snap City doing squats and deadlifts and they were not wrong. They just probably couldn't analyze, they couldn't specify how it how it could be detrimental to to your lower back or to your spine on uh, spinal alignment. But to let you guys know that if you are considering doing the squat for stronger legs, right? Um, which it, the squat is a natural body movement. I mean, everybody should be able to do the squat, but mind you, that's with body weight. When you're now starting at uh, large amount of weights, like 100 pounds and up, you, you need to consider that, hey, is your body even balanced for that movement? So. If you're planning to move up in weights, you're you you want to become stronger in the squat, right? Start doing about 10 sets plus, right? 10 to 15, one to three reps. Like I said, I just recommend you guys just to do one rep at a time. All right. So I want to hear you guys' opinion about how you should do your squat, uh, the dangers of doing squats, spinal alignment, postural alignment, okay, imbalances in the feet. Uh, previous knee injuries or the best one previous hip injuries you know snowboarding uh, ice skating etc might have failed could have been the stupidest accident and all that could be calculated into your postural alignment anyways your boy Jason Yamamoto and I'll talk to you guys later nice. Nice.